So today, I'm going to answer the questions. Where can I take my pre-reds? Is it better to take them at community college and then transfer into a two-year program? What's the cheapest way to get nursing school pre-reds done? What did you pay to do your pre-reds? All these are common questions, and this is going to be an extremely informal interview where I'm going to talk about where I took my prereqs and how much they cost. Hi, my name is Tiff. I'm a bachelor's prepared registered nurse who switched careers in my mid-30s from assistant living to nursing. And I want to help my fellow misfits and untraditional students get into good nursing schools crush their nursing classes and clinicals, and I also want to help existing healthcare professionals leave bedside for business if they so choose. So first of all, as we talked about in the prior video, hopefully, I'm saying hopefully because I don't know in what order I'm gonna edit these. This is a one woman show, guys. <laughs> but hopefully, as I explained in the previous video, it may be the next video, who even knows? Happy 2025. <laughs> Every school is gonna have different requirements to enter their nursing program. Every state and region will also have different requirements. When I lived in Texas and I considered applying to schools in Texas, I noticed their nursing school had a bunch of weird requirements like Texas History 1, Texas History 2, Alamo War Crimes 201. I wasn't dealing with any of that, but if you apply in that state, there may be state specific requirements to get into nursing school. So just be aware of that. Now, where did I take my prereqs? I've already told you guys, my journey into nursing was very topsy-turvy, unusual. So I took most of my prerequisites at University of Maryland as a pre-nursing student that was looking to transfer into a nursing school sequence of a larger university. My school did not have a nursing school attached to it. So they prepared us with two years of prereqs and sent us to two years at another university or school that had a BSN program. I did horribly in my prereqs, some of them, when I first took them. So uh, I had to retake some of them at Community College in Maryland. I had to retake all of them eventually <laughs> to get into nursing school. Um, but I did get into nursing school before I actually attended nursing school. I got into a nursing school in Maryland and my prereqs didn't really line up perfectly together. So I had to take a summer and fall semester to prepare for a spring semester starting their nursing sequence. And before that spring semester began, I dropped out and moved halfway across the country to be a hippie. <laughs> I told you guys I was an untraditional student. I wasn't just saying that because I'm older. I'm saying that because I didn't know that I was going to make it back into nursing, okay? So I started my nursing journey off with prerequisites from 2007 to 2009. And I didn't think about school again for a very long time. I finished my University of Maryland degree in psychology many, many years later. And then I started to look at second degree programs all over the country for nursing school. Um, and I knew with my less than stellar grades and the fact that some of my prereqs were over 10 years old that I would need to basically retake everything all over again. So I started back from scratch. So I started to kind of plot my prerequisites to make myself more marketable to nursing schools as a second degree student. And I also wanted to refresh my memory so that I would not get murdered in an accelerated tract with knowledge that is from 10 years ago. It's like grown cobwebs in my head. It may not even be medically relevant anymore. So I just wanted to start all over again. I did that process in 2021 at Community College. These classes were $300 a credit, not including like those one-time lab fees or textbook fees that they charge you for some classes. Most of them were online and that worked perfect for me because my husband and I had a healthcare business at that time. So we were constantly um, traveling for that to see our clients and residents and just doing a lot of consulting and a bunch of other stuff. So I was lucky that I could do them online. So what classes did I actually take? I took anatomy and physiology one. I took anatomy and physiology two both with a lab at community college. 
I took chemistry and a lab. So that's general chemistry, not organic chemistry, which I had already taken at University of Maryland. Um, so I retook chemistry with the lab that was not online. You can't do chemistry and lab online. And that was at community college. I also took world religions and that was at community college. Luckily that was online. And then I also took pathophysiology at the university where my nursing school was, but we'll come back to that in a second. So at the time of having these classes finished with a 4.0, I was ready to apply to schools. Pathophysiology was not a prereq that was common to all of the places I was applying. It was just needed for one of the places I was applying. So I didn't want to take that prereq until I knew if I could get into other schools. So my first year of applications, I got two rejections and a wait list. My second year of applications, I got accepted into the first two schools that I applied to. And at that point, I stopped applying. Um, I visited one of those two schools for an accepted student tonight to get a feel for the campus, get a feel for like the faculty and the other students. And I just immediately felt at home and fell in love with that school. So that event was a fall event. I found out that my program would begin in the summer of the following year. And everyone, I'm talking every professor there, the administrators there, the students there, suggested that I take that final prereq, pathophysiology, which was very uncommon to see as a prereq for nursing school. They suggested I take that class at the nursing school university. They said the professor was amazing, that she wrote really good letter of recommendations, and that she would really lay a great groundwork to excel through the rest of that program. So I said, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this class. It was an online course, and the price tag was $3,500. I enjoyed that class tremendously. It helped ease me into the school culture and vibes like right before beginning nursing school and clinicals. And it helped me meet some of my classmates early. And I ended up meeting one of my besties there. I'm not gonna say her name, but I know she's watching. She's like my number one fan. I'm her number one fan. We really leaned on each other very heavily in nursing school. So where can you take classes? Community college is fine, but make sure that you're conscious of if you're going to need like an academic reference or a letter of recommendation because you want to make sure that you stand out amongst other students and have extended contact with those professors if that's the case and that's really true for anywhere that you go but especially at community college because there's just a lot more students other people suggested online schools like portage i think it's a little less likely that you may get a letter of recommendation there because i'm not sure if you have like an interactive um, professor student type class, I think a lot of those courses on Portage are kind of pre-recorded and self-paced, but they work very well for people with busy schedules and they are cheaper. They're around $200 or $250 per credit. So yeah, so consider Portage as well or other online schools like Portage. I am not endorsed by them. Uh, that's just an example of a place that many of my classmates took their prereqs before starting nursing school. You can also take the prerequisite courses at the nursing school that you plan to apply to if they are like a general university. And that can give you an advantage in some ways if you get to know the nursing staff early. You can also get a very strong letter of recommendation to help you matriculate into their school more smoothly. And you can even use this strategy you can even use this strategically like maybe you don't want to take all of your prereqs at your dream nursing school but maybe you take some of them like anatomy and phys i'm losing my my ability to speak clearly guys it's going downhill the further i record the more jumbled it gets you don't have to take all of your prereqs there but you can take important prereqs like anatomy and physiology one and two, or maybe pathophysiology or pharmacology at the target school. 
So you really cannot go wrong. Honestly, you just want to take these classes very seriously. You want to push your best foot forward and make good impressions because you are going to need some type of reference most likely from these classes. So if you need a little bit of help, we all need a little bit of help sometimes. If you need a little bit of help understanding the puzzling world of prerequisites, I have a free online guide. It gives you a blank template to go ahead and outline your rank schools to organize your list of prereqs and see a side-by-side -side comparison from school to school. It also goes into a little bit of detail about what each prerequisite class is like and how to sort through the different school requirements so that you're comparing apples to apples when picking the right school for you. And I'm gonna leave that link here. you humbly please like this video if you like this video and please subscribe for nursing content that inspires you to get to your next level whatever that may be so remember that I believe in you that you are incredible and that you can do whatever you put your mind to so I'll see you in the next video